So today will, it will be the last lecture for uh, uh, differential equations part of this course. So I will uh, uh, present uh, uh, the application of uh, the Bessel's equation. Okay, so how to apply the Bessel's equation application, applications uh, of uh, Bessel's function actually, Bessel's function. Uh, there are not one uh, Bessel function, there are several types of Bessel functions. So application of Bessel's function. Okay, so let me, uh, so there uh, as uh, the title suggests that this is the application part only. Uh, it is not the uh, derivation. So we would, in today we will not do any sort of derivation. I will just introduce you with different uh, kinds of uh, Bessel's function and uh, how we can apply those Bessel's functions to, uh, to solve the uh, uh, some uh, Bessel's uh, equations. <clears throat> Okay, so the Bessel's com uh, function comes from the Bessel's equation, x square y double prime uh, plus uh, x y prime uh, plus uh, x square minus nu square y is equal to zero. So this is the uh, Bessel's equation, okay, uh, which we also write like this, y double prime plus uh, one over x y prime plus one minus nu square over x square. So whatever way you want to write, both are the uh, equivalent forms of, of these equations. So uh, in the last lecture, we did some uh, derivation uh, to derive the uh, Bessel's function, okay? That means a function uh, which uh, is uh, uh, the solution of this, uh, uh, this uh, equation. So there are now, actually uh, more than one types of uh, uh, Bessel's functions. So first kind of Bessel's function is called as the Bessel's function of first kind. Okay, Bessel's uh, uh, function of first kind. Okay, first kind. And then there is a, a Bessel's function of second kind as well. So. Uh, let me write down the first kind function and then I will uh, write down the uh, second kind of function. So we have not done any derivation for the second function, uh, second kind function. Uh, I will not do also as well. Uh, I will not do that derivation. Uh, I will just uh, tell you the second function and I will also tell you the uh, purpose of the uh, second kind uh, function. So Bessel's function of first kind is as you represented by j nu uh, of x uh, is equal to uh, m is equal to zero to infinity. And then it is minus one over uh, one minus one power m into x power two m minus nu, two uh, m plus nu, sorry, two m plus nu and uh, over <clears throat> two power two m plus nu uh, m factorial, and then there is this gamma function. Okay, gamma function uh, m plus nu plus one. Gamma function of m plus nu plus one. So remember that we need to uh, introduce this gamma function into this Bessel function uh, because we want to simplify its expression for the representation. So it is one of the most uh, simplified form of the uh, Bessel's function. And the uh, use of gamma function is over here is also uh, necessary because it allows for the determination for the factorial values for the fractional terms as well. Okay, so we can determine the factorial values for the fractional term. So therefore gamma function is uh, necessary over here. So this is the Bessel's function of first kind of order new, okay? So here, uh, uh, new uh, is necessarily a, a non-integer, okay? So new is uh, not an integer, okay? So if the value of 
uh, 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 sorry, I, I must not say like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, new can be integer as well as non-integer both. Okay, uh, new can because we are using the gamma function. Gamma in function involves uh, also allows the values of the non-integer uh, values of new. Okay, so new can be an integer as well as non-integer. Uh, uh, next uh, we have the other uh, function is uh, j minus new of x. Uh, because uh, the in CD, in initial equation will have two roots, plus new or minus new, okay? So corresponding to plus new or minus new, you will have uh, two Bessel's uh, functions. So M0, M to infinity, and then the only change will be in the sign of V in this formula. In the sign of V, 2M uh, minus new, uh, m factorial uh, gamma m minus nu plus one. Okay, the only change is the is in the sign of the uh, nu. And remember that nu is the part of this uh, Bessel's equation. Okay, the, depending on the value of the nu, we will get the uh, solutions of the Bessel's equation. Okay, so. And once we have the Bessel's uh, function determined by this, this formulae, so we can find the solution. Uh, we can find the solution, the general solution of uh, this Bessel's equation. So you know, uh, you see that uh, this is a second order uh, differential equation. So its general solution will be a two parameter uh, equation. Uh, those two parameters are the two arbitrary constants. So its uh, general solutions can then be represented in terms of these Bessel's equations, uh, Bessel's functions. So its general, uh, general solution will be, general solution will be <clears throat> uh, y of x is equal to c1, the first arbitrary uh, constant times the j nu of x and plus uh, C2 J minus nu of X, okay? But remember that this is the general solution when nu is not integer, okay? That means nu is some fractional value, okay? Nu is some fractional value. Remember that we can, uh, we can use this JV and J minus nu for uh, integer values as well. But if j if if new and uh, new is an integer, we cannot use this general solution uh, for this equation. So this general solution we can only use when new is not an integer. Okay, when new is not an in integer. Okay, so in this case, uh, j new and j minus new uh, both will be independent. So therefore, their uh, linear combination can be represented as a general solution. Okay, so this thing you need to remember. So here. Uh, new can be integer. Here, new can be can also be non-integer. So, any with anything, uh, you can calculate this Bessel's function of the first kind. Okay, uh, but for this equation, when uh, new uh, new should not be an integer. Okay, so now the question is, then if uh, new is an integer, then then what is the general solution? So this is the question. Okay. Okay, so if nu is integer, then what is the solution? So part of the answer is that this is not the solution. Okay, so this is part of the answer. Okay, so the comp uh, to complete this, un uh, quest uh, this answer, so we will need to introduce uh, Bessel's function of second kind. So the answer to this question is in the Bessel's function of second kind. Okay, remember that uh, uh, by not having a solution when uh, new is an integer, 
does not mean that uh, the calculations for j, uh, j v of x and j nu of x is wrong. No, we still will be use, we still need these uh, Bessel's functions to calculate the Bessel's function of uh, second kind. Okay. So you understand the uh, procedure? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, uh, then uh, okay. So uh, so this is the purpose of the Bessel's function of second kind. So uh, again, I uh, mentioned that uh, Bessel's function of the second kind I did not derived in the last question because we don't have any don't have much much uh, time for the lengthy uh, derivations. We only derived this first uh, function in the last lecture. So I hope you understand. So, um, uh, and uh, uh, we in, and in today's lecture we are focusing more on the application rather than the uh, derivations. Anyway, so Bessel's. Uh, so the answer for our question is in in the Bessel's function of the second kind. So then, what is the Bessel's function of the second kind? So uh, by convention, the Bessel's function of second kind is represented by a letter uh, v. Bessel's function of the first kind is represented by the letter. J okay, so whenever there is this y new, so it means that we are talking about the Bessel's function of second kind. Uh, uh, this Bessel's function of uh, second kind uh, is uh, in terms of the Bessel's function of first kind. So its uh, its formula is uh, uh, formula uses the Bessel's function of first kind. So cosine of new pi, okay, uh, times j nu uh, x and uh, minus j minus nu x, okay, cosine nu pi, these two terms are uh, multiplied with each other and then minus j minus nu x divided by sine nu pi. So this is the uh, uh, Bessel's uh, uh, equation, uh, Bessel's function of uh, second kind, okay. And you see that the Bessel's function of second kind is uh, nothing but uh, some function in terms of the Bessel's function in uh, Bessel's function in uh, of uh, first kind. Okay, so but here there is another uh, uh, some caveat over here is that if you calculate Bessel's function of second kind, then nu should not be an integer. Okay, if nu is not an integer, uh, okay, now you will see that it is a little bit confusing. Uh, well, uh, to remove this confusion, I will say that uh, the uh, the general solution which we will represent over here uh, by by using these uh, Bessel's function of second kind will be applicable to both the integer as well as non-integer values. Okay, so this is the answer. So if uh, if if it is not an in integer, so a more simplified way for representing the solution is by this. But even if it is not an integer, we still can represent it into, into the uh, Bessel's function of the second kind. Okay. On the other hand, if the solution is, uh, if nu is integer, then we cannot represent it like this. Then the only choice is Bessel's function of second kind. Uh, so Bessel's function of second kind then allows both the integer and non-integer values. Okay. But uh, here you can see that this formula we will calculate only when it is not an integer. So, but what if if the if nu is an integer? So then, uh, a, a little bit modification of this formula will be made. Uh, in that case, uh, the formula will be in the form of a, a limit. Okay, so it will be y uh, n uh, sorry n yeah y n of uh, x. Uh, limit when nu tends to infinity, uh, sorry, nu tends to n, and uh, it will be y nu of x. So what does this uh, formula say? So this is uh, the si situation when uh, nu is integer, okay? Nu is an integer. So when nu is an integer and that integer is n, that that integer is n. So you will take, you will calculate it. Uh, this uh, you will calculate it by this formula. But in this case, uh, you will get a case of like zero over zero. Okay, like zero over zero. So in this case, then you will apply the uh, 
uh, if you have learned in calculus, you will apply the L'Hopital rules. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, L'Hopital rule to calculate this limit. Okay, so once you will calculate this limit, then you will have the uh, uh, Bessel's uh, function of the uh, second kind. Okay, Bessel's function of the uh, second kind. So you will apply the L L'Hopital's rule in this case. So anyway, so whether it is an integer or not a non-integer, uh, you will have a Bessel's function of the second kind. Okay. And then to further explain the process, then I can move to the next uh, slide. Awesome. Yes. So if uh, new is not integer, we can use uh, the first one or so second one, it doesn't matter, so what? If uh, no, yes. If, if new is not an integer, then the more simplified way is to use this first one. But even, even in that case, you can use the second one as well. Okay. Uh, that will be the same. The, yeah, the answer uh, will be the same. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, so what is then the second one? So the second solution, uh, second general solution is, which is more general, which is applicable for both uh, new is equal to integer or non-integer is that, so the second general solution is y of x is equal to c1, which is the arbitrary constant, j nu of x plus c2 uh, y, new of x. So this will be the solution. So in this case, the difference is from the previous solution is that in the previous one, both terms were j. But in this, the only difference is that the second term is y. So Bessel's uh, uh, function of the first kind plus the Bessel's function of the uh, second kind. And then in this case, v is equal to, v is an integer or v is not an integer, it doesn't matter, okay? It will apply to both uh, situations. But, don't, uh, but, the, uh, but remember that uh, the Bessel's function of the second kind will be calculated differently for whether v is an integer or uh, whether nu is an integer or nu is not an integer. So, so actually there are more, uh, many ifs and buts over here, but uh, somehow, this is only the this is the only way simplest only simple way to uh, represent it. Okay, so let's take uh, some example. Examples are uh, the example of the applications are relatively simple. Okay, so for example, if you have this equation x square y uh, double prime plus uh, x y prime plus uh, x square minus one over nine y is equal to zero. So if, for example, if the Bessel's equation given is this, so uh, then what is the solution? So we have to compare this with the general form of the Bessel's equation. But the general form of the Bessel's equation is this. So only, only difference between the given differential equation and, uh, uh, and, uh, Uh, the, uh, and the general solution is the value of the new. So new square is equal to one over nine. Okay, new square is equal to, in this case is uh, one over nine. So new will be equal to one over three. So now new is not an integer. Okay, so if it is not an integer, so we don't have to, uh, we can write its solution in terms of the, uh, in this equation as well, but uh, its general solution will be like this. C1 j nu of x plus C2 j uh, minus nu of x. So nu is now one by three. So its solution will be down j uh, one by three of x plus C2 j minus one by three of uh, yeah, x. No need for these brackets. Yep. 
Yeah. So this will be the solution. So it's as simple as that. Okay. So uh, uh, remember that for uh, the uh, these are the uh, Bessel's uh, function of the first kind. Okay. And you know that Bessel's function of the first kind involved the uh, gamma function, and gamma function can calculate the factorial values for the uh, fractional terms. Okay. So this is the solution. So you can see that the application is very simple. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, so uh, for the second case, yeah, by the way, this as uh, just I am repeating again. Uh, so uh, this equation can also be written into the uh, into this format as well. But uh, the, uh, for this type of part, this is the most simplified case. Okay, example, another example. Let's see if the equation is x square y double prime plus x y prime plus x square minus one uh, y is equal to zero. Okay, uh, you may see, uh, see the, uh, say that uh, although we have represented these by the uh, Bessel's uh, function, uh, but uh, it does not give a feeling of the solution. Yeah, that the answer is, uh, yeah, the question is uh, right. Uh, but you see that this is the most simply, uh, this is the simplified way of representing it, although it is not giving the feeling of like a solution. So, uh, so I think for, and uh, manually writing this solution is also quite tedious. So I think for this situation, uh, probably it is better to verify it using the uh, Mathematica. So Mathematica has inbuilt functions for the best cells and many other functions. So we can uh, verify it with the help of uh, Mathematica as well. Uh, well, I will introduce some uh, Mathematica functions to you in some update, up, uh, in some tutorials, which I will update, upload later whenever I have time, whenever I will have time, okay? Anyway. Uh, example. So this is the example for this x square minus one. So in this case, uh, what is the value of new? New square. What is the value of new square? If we compare this with this equation, the value of new square is one. Yeah, the value of new square is one. So now uh, new square is one. So new is equal to uh, plus minus one. So both uh, new values are integers. So when news are integers, so we cannot use this, uh, uh, this first uh, uh, form of the functions because J new or J minus new in these cases will not be independent solutions. So we will need to use a, uh, uh, the Bessel's function of the second kind in this case. So the solution will be in this case, it will be uh, J C one into uh, J1 of X and plus C2 Y1 of X, right? So where J1 is the Bessel's function of first kind of first order and uh, Y1 is the Bessel's function of second kind of first order, okay? So one is the order, so <clears throat> in this case, so whatever is the value of uh, new, that will be the order of the uh, Bessel's uh, function. Okay, so with this uh, in mind, so we can in introduce some uh, uh, some sophistications or uh, complications, you can say. Uh, what if, maybe, yeah, maybe I can use the next slide. Okay, what if the equations given is not exactly like uh, the general equation? So for example, the general equation is x square, uh, x square, uh, yeah, x square y double prime uh, plus x y prime plus uh, x square minus mu square 
y. So this is the general equation. But what if this equation is something like this? Um, x square y double prime plus x y prime plus instead of x square we have uh, something like uh, a coefficient alpha square x square minus mu square. Mm -hmm. So if we have equation like this uh, y is equal to zero. So now this equation does not match with the equation. So therefore uh, we uh, uh, cannot apply uh, the solution. Uh, we cannot apply the solution to uh, the, the previous solution which we have derived to this equation. Uh, however, uh, it is not that uh, difficult actually. So we can prove that, uh, for example, with, with the help of one substitution, with the help of a substitution, substitution, uh, which considers t is equal to alpha x, okay? With the help of the substitution, we can prove that this equation uh, trans will transform into t square uh, d2y over dt square plus t times d y over dt and plus t square minus mu square. I'm not doing those uh, some uh, calculations which are not very difficult. If you do the substitution t is equal to alpha x, uh, then you will get uh, uh, dy over dt equal will be equal to uh, dy over dt will you will get equal to sorry dy over dx will be equal to uh, alpha times dy over dt. So that means y prime you will replace with this. Okay, and by the chain rule, we can also uh, say that d2y over dx square, that is y double prime, will be replaced by uh, alpha square d2y over dt square. So when we will input these values and simplify it, so this equation will become uh, like this, okay? It will be in terms of t, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this one, okay. So uh, this form of the equation is called as the parametric, parametric. Uh, Bessel's equations. And now you see that after these modifications, uh, this uh, form of the equation is, uh, is matching the original Bessel's function. Do you agree with that? With t is replaced with y and uh, 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 so with the, sorry, here should be y, yeah, sorry. It should be y. Yeah, so with the t uh, is replaced by x, okay? The only difference is that. So, so in this case, then since we have already, uh, we know, already know the general solution of this uh, in terms of the uh, second uh, uh, kind Bessel's function of the first and second kind, which is that uh, y of, uh, in this case, the function will be in terms of t, y of t will be equal to um, c1 j uh, nu of t plus c2 y nu of t. And we know that t is equal to alpha x, so we can transform it back into uh, we can transform it back into uh, x, okay? So it will be uh, x, the so y of x will be equal to uh, c1 j v of alpha x and plus c2 y 
nu of alpha x okay so uh, finally we will get this uh, function so in this case it means that as an example we can see that uh, we have if we have this example uh, x square y double prime plus x y prime plus 9 x square minus 4 y is equal to 0 okay so then x uh, 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 then in, in this case you can see that what is the value of alpha so alpha will be equal to 3 and nu is equal to 2 okay nu is equal to 2 so uh, what we can do is we can uh, have uh, its uh, solution as this so y of x will be equal to c1 uh, j2 uh, 3x and plus c2 y2 3x so this will be the uh, solution okay so now we have uh, considered now three types of Bessel's equation. So one is the Bessel's equation uh, of the first, uh, Bessel's function of the first kind, Bessel's function of the second kind, and then we also applied the parametric Bessel's equation. Okay. Uh, okay. Next uh, is uh, is uh, next week. I can want to discuss over here is called as the uh, modified Bessel's equations, modified Bessel's equation. Okay, so what is a modified Bessel's equation? A modified Bessel's equation is x square y double prime plus x y prime minus, okay, minus x square minus nu square y is equal to zero. This is the modified Bessel's equation. Can you tell me what is the difference? with the original Bessel's equation? In the sign? Yes. Minus. Yeah, there is this minus sign, okay? In the original Bessel's equation, there is this plus sign over here. This is the modified Bessel's equation. So uh, likewise, uh, for the modified Bessel's equation, there is a Bessel's function, which is called as the uh, modified uh, Bessel's function. And similarly, it also has first and second kind. So first we'll look at the first kind. So this modified Bessel's function is represented by letter i. Okay. So it's uh, i nu of x will be equal to. So this is something like different. So it is in terms of the imaginary number iota minus nu. Iota, iota is uh, square root of minus one. Okay, iota power minus nu. Uh, Bessel's function of uh, first kind. Yeah, this will be there, but it will be uh, evaluated at at iota x. Okay, and similarly, iota uh, minus nu uh, of x will be equal to iota. So nu will just change powers over here, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and then it will be j uh, minus nu and iota x. Okay, so this is this is the modified Bessel's function of the first kind. Okay, so its solution uh, when uh, nu is uh, not an integer, when nu is not an integer, so it will its solution will be similar to the uh, uh, case before. So it will be c one. Uh, I nu of uh, uh, I nu of uh, x and plus C two I minus nu of x. So when nu 
is uh, not equal to integer. Okay, and it's not integer. So this is the same as like before, but only the formulation is different. So modified vessels function. So modified vessels function we use for this modified vessels equation. Or uh, since it it has the first kind, it has also the second kind as well. So modified uh, vessels function of second kind. Okay, and it is represented by a letter K. Okay, so now we have J, Y, I, and K. Okay, remember that. So J, Bessel's function of first kind, Y, Bessel's function of second kind, I, modified Bessel's function of first kind, K, modified Bessel's function of second kind. So K nu of X uh, is equal to pi over two uh, is formula is relatively simple. I uh, minus nu of x minus I nu of x uh, divided by sine nu of uh, sine nu pi, okay? Sine nu pi. Uh, so, but in this case, as before, when nu is not equal to integer. So we calculate this in this way. When uh, nu is integer, so you calculate like kn of x, where n is an integer, uh, limit uh, nu tends to uh, n and uh, k nu of x. So in this case, we need to apply the L'Hopital's rule to calculate the limit. So in this case, when v will be equal to integer. So you can see that uh, for uh, different types of situations, so we have uh, different uh, uh, functions, okay? So in this case, uh, for the, the general solution in this case will be equal to y of x uh, will be equal to c1, uh, i nu of x, so which is the modified Bessel's function of first kind, plus c2, uh, k uh, nu of x, so which is the modified Bessel's function of second kind. So very much similar to the previous case. Only thing is that previously it was the general, uh, it was the general uh, uh, Bessel's function. Now it is the modified Bessel's function. So similarly, it has its uh, parametric, uh, a modified function as well. So parametric is also uh, the same, okay? So for example, uh, is, if we have this equation, uh, x square y double prime plus, uh, this is an example, uh, plus x y prime minus alpha square uh, x square, uh, alpha square, x square minus mu square, okay? Minus mu square, okay? So you can see that this is the, uh, uh, this is the modified Bessel's equation, uh, but uh, with the use of uh, this parameter alpha square. So it can be also proved uh, that its, uh, its function, its solution will be y1, uh, sorry, c1, i1, uh, sorry, c1, i know, i knew uh, alpha x plus c2, uh, k nu alpha x. So just for an example, if uh, the equation is x square y double prime plus x y prime minus 16x square plus four over, uh, so, uh, uh, plus four over nine. nine. Actually uh, here it should be, it is a plus, okay. 
I think I made some mistake previously. Uh, in the modified Bessel's equation, here we are using plus sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should correct it. Plus over here. Mm. So that's why we are using plus here also. 16x square plus 4 over 9. Okay. So minus is outside, plus is inside over here. And y is equal to uh, 0. So in this case, alpha is equal to, what is the value of alpha? Hello? Um, yeah, alpha square, x square, what is the value of alpha? Four, four. Four. And a new is two by three, okay? So new is two by three. So in this case, the solution will be y of x, uh, c1, uh, Bessel's modified Bessel's uh, function of the first kind uh, at 4x plus c2, the uh, arbitrary constant times the modified Bessel's function of the second kind at uh, 2 by 3, uh, no, at 4x uh, of order 2 by 3. Okay, so uh, this these were the uh, different cases. So now there is a special uh, equation actually. Uh, okay, so a special equation, okay, special equation. Lastly, I would like to discuss about it. A special equation. Uh, this special equation is y double prime plus one minus two a. It's a little bit longer, but uh, actually it's quite simple. Y prime plus b square, c square, plus uh, a square, p square, sorry, a square minus p square, c square. Okay, a square minus p square, c square over x square, uh, y is equal to zero. So this, the equation of this form, and uh, it has actually no proof uh, uh, is there, but, uh, its solution can be represented like this, x power a times c1 uh, j of j at p, uh, b x power c plus c2 y at p, uh, b x power c. So now tell me what is jp? What is jp? Bessel's um, equation of first kind. Yeah, Bessel's function of first kind. And uh, YP is Bessel's function of second kind of order P. P. Yes. Okay, so as an example, uh, we can take this uh, XY double prime uh, plus 3Y prime plus 9Y. So if we want to solve this uh, equation, and then uh, we what we can do is we can write it like this, plus three over x plus uh, nine over uh, x, y is equal to zero, okay? So if I, if I compare this equation with this, uh, uh, this special uh, equation, so I can see that one minus two a uh, over x uh, is equal to uh, what, three over x, right? Uh, yeah, y prime. So if we compare coefficient by coefficient, so uh, three over x is equal to one minus two y over x. So from here I can find that uh, one minus two a is equal to three and a will be equal to then minus one, okay? A will be equal to minus one. And uh, for the second part, this nine should be equal to this whole term. So b square, uh, c square, and Sorry, I forgot to write something over here. X, it, it was uh, here, there, it was x power 2c minus 2, okay? Yeah, b square, c square, x power 2c minus 2 should be here. So x power 2c minus 2 and plus a square minus p square, c square 
uh, over uh, x square that will be equal to 9 over x 9 over x so so for if we simplify it so we will multiply throughout by x square so x square will be that minus 2 will cancel out so it will be b square c square x power 2c plus a square minus p square c square and that it will be 9x okay it will be 9x so now if we want to uh, equate both sides so it's the uh, the power of x uh, is 1 over here the power of x is 2c over here so it means that 2c is equal to 1 so this will give c is equal to 1 by 2 c is equal to 1 by uh, 2 so since c is equal to 1 by 2 so now here we can see that b square c square is equal to 9 so because the coefficient of uh, uh, x should be also 0 b square c square is equal to 9 so from here because c is we know that it is uh, 1 by 2 so it will be 1 by 4 is equal to 9 so b square will be equal to 36 or b will be equal to uh, 6 in this case so now we found the value of c uh, b square and now uh, how about a square minus p square c square a square a square minus p square c square is equal to 0 because uh, there is no other term over here so it should be 0. So now we can input the values a is minus 1, a minus 1 square is 1 minus p square and then c is uh, c is 1 by 2. <clears throat> so c it will be 1 by 4. So it will be uh, then from here the value of p will be equal to 2. Okay. So we will get the value of p is equal to two is equal to zero. So uh, we take it on that side. So p square is equal to four. So p is will be equal to two. So now we get we get we have got all the values of this, and then therefore the solution we can represent like this: y of x is equal to x power a x, and then a is uh, minus one x power minus one into uh, c one. Uh, j of p, p is what? p is, uh, p is 2, okay, j 2 of, and then b x square, b is, uh, what is b? b is 6, so yeah, and then x power c, c is 1 by 2, so 6 x power 1 by 2, okay, and then plus uh, c 2, uh, y of 2, uh, and then 6x power 1 by 2. So this will be the solution. I think it has become a little bit messy, but I think, I hope you will understand it, okay? So in this way, uh, we can find the uh, solution. However, uh, this uh, seems to be very, uh, not very convincing because we, you really don't know whether we can verify it, although we can verify it by maybe using it in Mathematica. But if we apply the same equation, uh, almost we have finished the time, maybe I will take two, three, two, three more minutes. So for example, if we apply the same equation, for example, uh, same for this, for this example, uh, y double prime plus y is equal to zero, and we compare it with this equation, okay? we will compare it with this equation. Then we will eventually get the solution like this. Y of X is equal to uh, C1 cosine of X plus C2 sine of X by this method. And we already know that the solution of this equation is simply this one, okay? Because uh, M square plus one is equal to uh, one. So it's, uh, uh, characteristic roots are plus minus iota and then for this when the characteristic roots are plus minus iota so its general solution is in this term but uh, we can get the solution of this equation by the previous method uh, by the previous method uh, as well and then this will then give you the uh, uh, indication that uh, this solution uh, really works okay although in, in this case uh, we really cannot say it 
unless we will verify it. But in this case, since we already know the uh, solution and then we get the same solution by this method, so we can really say that the method will work. Okay, so uh, that's all for